Welcome to the APMA Coding Resource Center. The screen you're looking at is the home page for the APMA Coding Resource Center. One of the tabs, if you're familiar with the home page, that we have added over the last year is ICD-10CM. It sits right next to the ICD-9CM tab. When clicked on, the tab opens up to an ICD-10 quick index. One of the number one questions that is asked of APMA regarding the Coding Resource Center is, where are the ICD-10 crosswalks? The answer is just about everywhere. We've added to the table of contents both in ICD-9 as well as ICD-10 a crosswalk. If you click on this, you'll get an opportunity to either crosswalk ICD-9 to ICD-10 or ICD-10 to ICD-9. The crosswalks are very simple. You add an ICD-9 code in this case, click on Go, a drop-down forms, and the ICD-10 crosswalk code for, in this case, Pane, comes up. These are both hyperlinked, so if you click on these, you actually enter into the ICD-10 tabular list, right where Pane of the lower extremity is, at which point you can find the specific code you're looking for. The ICD-9 tab also has a similar crosswalk sitting in the table of contents, as you can see. Another way to find the crosswalks is to go up to the, the line tab that shows the word crosswalk. When you click on this, the very same drop-down comes into play. You can put your codes in, click on Go, and you get to the right spot. If you're crosswalking codes, one of the easiest ways to do this is go to the ICD-9 quick index. You have a list of ICD-9 codes that you commonly use in your practice. If you go through those codes or go through the definitions of those codes and you find what you're looking for, you can crosswalk them rather simply. Let's start at the very top. Top code is 796.1. It's an ICD-9 code. It's defined as abnormal reflex. You'll notice that there's a bracketed area just at the end of it that says ICD-10. If you click on that, a drop-down comes into play. You'll see that there's an ICD-10 code that matches the ICD-9 code. It also is underscored, which means it's a hyperlink. If you click on this, it'll take you right to R29.2 abnormal reflex, which is the ICD-10 code. It's as simple as that. One of the other things that you're going to have available with your program is the ability to add additional information regarding the what's called nth degree, taking the code out in ICD-10 to the furthest it can go out. For example, the next code below this is 916.0. You'll notice that there is a star next to it and the star is yellow. If you clicked on the ICD-10 crosswalk, you'll see that you get the codes that come to play 4916.0 in the ICD-10. These are all hyperlinked. Interestingly enough, if you close this, and because of the yellow star, that means you've added a favorite, and you click on Show Note, which is in my particular program, I've added the nth degree coding that go along with conversion for abrasion ankle in ICD-10. These are the six character ICD-10 codes, but you'll notice it needs a seventh character. That's a hint. If you look below this, I've also added the appropriate seventh character to be added to each code, and here are the options that you have for the seventh character. So if this was the first time you saw this patient for this condition, in fact, and it was the right ankle, you would code S90.511A, and that gives you your complete code. And this is how you convert, whether it's a super bill, a charge ticket, or any list of codes that you commonly use in your office. When you're done with this, you can hide your note. Now, you can do this with a cross uh, walking and highlighting and cutting and pasting and putting it into your own. One of the things that APMA is intending to have available for you, if you wish, after the first of the year 2015, will be a complete list in the favorites that you can toggle on that will give you the very same nth degree coding 
to make things a lot easier. So again, from a crosswalking standpoint, you have multiple uh, avenues to go. You can crosswalk through the table of contents in both the ICD-9 and ICD-10 tab. You can crosswalk from up here on the crosswalk bar. You can go to the ICD-9 quick index to go from ICD-9 to ICD-10. On the ICD-10 tab, you can go from an ICD-10 code to an ICD-9 code. And you can use the favorites to actually go to the nth degree, up to seven characters if necessary, for the code that you're looking for. And that's how you do the crosswalk with the APMA Coding Resource Center.